Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how I organize my linen closet. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I post organization videos, Bath and Body Works videos, and some reviews like Amazon favorites, Wish favorites, and things like that. I am currently doing this series where I show all of the different spaces in my house and how I organize them. So I am really excited to show you how I organize my linen closet today because it is one of my favorite places that I have organized because I'm just really proud of it. I don't think it's perfect yet. It's just kind of an awkward space. Um, it's pretty good. I am proud of how I organized it. As always, I'm constantly reorganizing things until they are perfect. So I might change it up in the future, but right now I'm happy with how it is. So for a lot of the products that I'm using to organize, I am going to have them linked below in my Amazon storefront. The main thing are these plastic reusable bags and I am obsessed with these. I am using them all over my house, but they are most prominent in my linen closet. So that will be linked below along with any other organizational things that you see in this video. Okay, so I just added this LED light. So when you open the door, the light comes on. It is motion censored. So I had to film this in the dark so you could see it actually come on. But this is what my linen closet looks like. I just have four main shelves and then the floor. But on each shelf, it is not just this main space that you can see. There's like an awkward little corner around each side. So I would put four of these bins that you can see here side by side, but a fourth bin just barely does not fit. So unfortunately I can only put the three bins and then I've got a little bit of space in between. So starting with my top shelf, I have a computer bin and a hair bin, which is self-explanatory. And then this little space up here is where I keep my batteries and extra tissues. And I love this battery organizer. It is of course linked below, but it just keeps everything organized in here. And then there's actually a battery tester at the top as well. Then in the next shelf down, I have my DIY cleaning supplies, my phone bin, and my overstock bin. A few of my cleaning products I DIY myself, so this is just where I keep all of the things for it. I've got like the funnel, my essential oils, just all of the materials that I need to make my DIY supplies. Then in my phone bin, this is where I use all of these plastic bags that I've been raving about. So I have everything organized into categories. I've got my cases, accessories, things like extra glass and pop sockets. Old devices, I still have my iPod shuffles. I've got a bag for iPhone chargers because it's always good to have extra ones on deck. And then a bag for cubes. I call them cubes, you might call them blocks, but I've got some cubes. And then I've got headphones and then a little bag for Android items because there's always someone who needs an Android charger or cord. Next in the overstock bin, it is just what it sounds like. This is where I keep any extras. So I have my extra brushes for dishwashing. I got an extra damp duster, just random things for the house like wet wipes or refrigerator filters and stuff like that. On the next shelf down, I have my electric bin and then my daily or main use cleaning supplies and then my other cleaning supplies that I will get into in a minute. So in my electric bin, this is where I have all of my cords and electrical things. So we have a bag for internet and phone cords, extension cords, a bag for power strips, a bag for miscellaneous and random cords, and then wall plugins and battery rechargers. Next to that bin is this bucket that I would grab when I'm doing like my regular cleaning routine. So I have just like an all purpose cleaner, my duster, magic sponge, the toilet bowl cleaner, and just everything that I'm gonna use more often I have in this bucket so I can just pick it up and go to town. And then I have other main use cleaning items in here that don't necessarily need to be in the bucket. I have microfiber towels in that bag and then like Windex and things go in there. And then in my other bin, I have all of my secondary cleaning supplies, like things that are really specific that I wouldn't need on a regular basis, like wall cleaner and carpet cleaner and stuff like that. Down, I keep all of our bath towels here. So we have two bins for the regular size bath towels. And then the skinny bin is for like the medium sized towels that I use to like put on the floor when you step out. And then next to these, we have our light bin. So. In this bin, of course, I'm using these plastic storage bags. So I have a bag for regular bulbs, a bag for emergency lights, which has come in handy a few times, 
Then I have push lights. I love using these inside cabinets and things like that. Then I have all of my night lights. You can tell I'm not a big fan of the dark. Then I have our patio light bulbs and our chandelier light bulbs because those are very specific. I have a little bag for lighters and matches and then a even smaller bag for tiny lights, just tiny little light bulbs, things like our license plate bulbs, stuff like that. And then on the floor, I just have our blankets and our linens. So I have rolled up blankets on either side and then the bin in the middle is for our sheets for our room and our guest room. I just keep them organized by having all of ours on the left and all of the guest rooms on the right. And then for our blankets, I just keep them rolled up. This one gray one is giant, so it's kind of hard to roll that one up, but then I have my t-shirt blanket rolled up as well. And so that is everything. That is the overview of my linen closet. Hopefully this gave you some inspiration to maybe change up yours or gave you some ideas. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I organized my linen closet. If you would like to see how I organize my closet, I have a series of videos posted that I will link below as well. I'm gonna to continue to film these and show other parts of my closet and other parts of my house. So if you wanna see those, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.